welcome back to my channel i hope you're all good i am so so happy to be filming this video i don't know why i'm just happy there's no particular reason or anything like that i think for me as well because literally i love perfumes i never was really able to buy perfumes that i wanted but through doing like the job that i love which is you know content creation and blogging i've been you know blessed to be able to get sent some of these and actually build up my collection so yeah i think this video kind of means something to me it's a bit sentimental i've been able to like you know build up my collection i started off with obviously like some of them has been gifted and some i've bought some i've bought i'm not broke or anything but it was just like as i was building it you know i was getting sent some and then i was able to buy my own that's my little story. Oh my gosh, just another thing. You probably don't care about this, but I have not had braids for like 10 years. So I'm just a little bit like, who is this person right now looking back at me? But yeah, I think they suit me. I was scared about my forehead. It's looking okay. So that's a plus. Let me get into this video because once again, I'm talking I'm talking a lot so yeah I'm just gonna show you my collection basically I can't you know I'd love to do the first perfume I started off with but I don't think I can remember that but yeah just my collection what I've got what I like to mix it with the price the scents da 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 all that good stuff I'd like to point out though that I am not a what's it called a perfumologist or whatever the word's called I know that's not the word but I just I'm tired it's the end of the day I can't even think of the word right now but yeah I don't have like all the knowledge so I'm just gonna give you what me as a normal person that likes nice smells thinks and what I do basically <laughs> okay so the first first perfume that I'm gonna start off with I'm gonna keep it simple I think um, yeah, I'm gonna start off, well not simple, but you know, simple-ish. So I'm gonna start off with this one from Vivian Westwood, Boudoir. Let me zoom in so you can see it all close and personal. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, my nails, they've broken off, please. Just, just accept me for who I am, guys, sorry. But look, this is just so gorgeous. I love, la la love, love the um, bottle. I was gonna say packaging. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like, ugh. yeah. This perfume, depending where you get it from and the sizing, I believe it starts depending where you like look. It starts from around twenty to thirty. Honestly, I love this perfume. It was gifted to me by one of my closest friends and honestly like the scent is beautiful it's like spicy it's got like a it just smells oh it's got like a really nice rich spice type of smell let me tell you what is in it so this has got notes of viburnium bergamot mandarin jasmine red rose oh damn it's got a lot um, orris root, cardamom, coriander, a base of patchouli, sandalwood, tobacco leaves, cinnamon, I can definitely smell the cinnamon in this, and soft vanilla. So it's got like, it's got a spicy but sweet smell. It's just so good. Like, I would say this is more for like, you know, an evening type of perfume. Definitely evening, definitely like for date nights, or like if you're going for drinks with the girls, this is definitely it definitely it so link where you can get these scents in my description box but yeah definitely would recommend this especially because the price point is very very friendly it's Vivian Westwood and it just smells so good if you like sweeter tones like just basically purely sweeter tones then wouldn't recommend this but if you do like that you know I'm a that boss boss girl kind of perfume where it's got like that kind of hint of masculine scent but you know it's not masculine then yeah this is a good night then the next one i have is from Guerlain. 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 why am i saying Guerlain? come on french is my first language i should not be saying it like that shame on me Guerlain. 
And yeah, let me actually get the name of this exact one. Mon Guerlain. So depending where you actually look for this one, it can range from like, I believe, maybe £55. Obviously look for dills and stuff. Use honey um, as an add-on if you can. This is not an ad. <laughs> yeah, I like to use honey just to find discounts and find where's best to kind of shop from. There's another website called Cosmetify, which I love using. It literally tells you the cheapest place you can get fragrances. So I'm, I'm gonna link these as well. Cosmetify, honey, all of that good stuff. Because you guys need to be saving your coin. We we in a recession, okay? We in a recession. If things are, you know, it's just getting real around here. It's getting real. So, yeah. <laughs> Mon Guerlain, £55, around that price range. Could be lower. Just shop around. This is quite similar to the other one. The Vivian Westwood one. Which is why I like to mix these two. Like in the description, they both have oriental, have, what's it called? Sandalwood, um, jasmine, this has got French lavender and vanilla tahitensis. Um, yeah, but this is a lot sweeter. So, I mean, if I want my perfume to last a bit longer, then I will mix these two. And I just feel like they are slightly, maybe even friends, because they look quite similar. Let me show you a close up, because I haven't. Oh, itchy nose. Um, picture. <laughs> oh, you can see my mouth through the perfume bottle. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the perfume. Gorgeous. Simple, but effective. Yeah. Girl, at the bottom. I honestly love this one. I was kindly gifted this at a, um, in a goodie bag from an event. So yeah, that was a bonus. Gosh, I miss events. I miss events. Damn you, Rona. <laughs> okay, next one is this one from Miss Sony. I love this. I love the bottle. It looks very like it should be an Aladdin or something. I just love it so much. This, I was as well kindly gifted from an event. It smells... Oh my gosh, there's kids playing outside making so much noise. Sorry if you can hear them. But, um... Yeah, this literally just smells amazing. It's such a sweet, sweet smell. I can't even explain. Not a sickly sweet, just a nice sweet. It is so, so nice. This contains notes of pear, flowers, petalia, tonka bean, jasmine sandback, andal, andal, <laughs> amber, sandalwood, citron, bergamot, and lemon. So it's really sweet. This is definitely like a summer smell, I would say. What's good about it is that it's very versatile so you can wear it at night time and I feel like you can also get away with wearing it in the day. But definitely more of a day perfume. It's just so nice. Like I wish you could like transfer smells through screens. Um, obviously good smells. <laughs> but yeah, this is just so, I love it so much. I love it here. Um, did I tell you the price of this one? So yeah, this usually ranges from range, ranges from about fifty, I believe fifty pounds. I think this is the hundred mil one. I don't think they do any smaller, but yeah, I think it starts from fifty pounds. Um, I don't know if they do any bigger. Oh, like I said, I'll add links. Yeah, this is such a sweet smell. It's kind of rubbed off, which is a little bit sad. Focus then. <laughs> Um, the Missoni, but yeah, beautiful bottle, very different. This looks really nice on my dressing table. Okay, next one is this one from Elizabeth Arden. I love, love, love this one. Um, I was gifted, well, not really gifted because it was through a campaign, but yeah, I just love it. It was meant to be for like city girls, not city girls, but like it's meant to be like a city vibe, you know, for the city woman. But this again is just so sweet. I love it. Definitely like when I want my perfume to pop a bit more, I will mix these two together just because they just go so nice. But let me give you the more details on this. This is from Elizabeth Arden, Fifth Avenue. There you are. I've actually had this since last November. So it's, you know, it's really lasting and I do use it quite a lot. I'm just reading the description now. 
So it's meant to exude the energy and excitement of New York. So I was literally watching Gossip Girl for the first time ever around the time that I got sent this. So obviously I was very, very gassed. I was just like, okay. I was just spraying it on me like from the Upper East Side, XOXO. I just, I was very gassed. I loved it. Yeah, it definitely gave me that vibe. So yeah, I'll definitely, you know, if you want to feel like you're from Gossip Girl, then <laughs> no, I'm being silly. But yeah, so it's meant to have classic feminin femininity, femininity, luxury. I feel like they've changed the packaging on this because it doesn't look the same online at all anywhere, which is, you know, okay. Okay, let me try and find what's in this. But it does range. This actually is a very good price starting point from online. So I'm seeing stuff starting from £17, so around 17 to 20 Yeah, it's actually a really good price and, you know, for the scent that it is and how long it lasts, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I've left my bougiest perfumes till last. I was going to say guess, but how... I mean, just guess mentally. Guess mentally <laughs> what it might be. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say they're the bougiest compared to what's out there, but from in my collection, okay? In my collection. <laughs> One from Dior. You wouldn't even know it's from Dior. Well, actually, yeah, you would. There's J'adore in this bit. Took a picture. Let's see. I don't know if it will focus. There we go. Got it. Yes. This bottle... Mm, it's very nice, very sleek. What I like about this is that your lid's not going to come off and it's not going to leak anywhere because it's a roll-on. It's a roll-on. And what I like about it is that you can actually roll it on to, you know, wherever you want to. Don't focus on me. Focus on the bottle. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll just roll it on my neck. Da -da -da -da. And it just smells so nice. I've had this since last year. And I have used it a lot and it's, you know, it's lasting. It's really lasting. Like, this is the, I believe this is the 50 mil. I'm so bad with like my metrics and all that sizing or whatever. Yeah, so it's the Dior J'adore. It's got a sparkling fresh floral bouquet, deeply sensual and totally feminine. It exudes top notes of tangy mandarin, ivy leaves softened by the champaka flower. Orchids, roses, violets, base of Damascus, plum, wood, blackberry musk. So it's a very, very, again, very feminine smell. You know, I just like to use this by itself, especially because it's a roll on. I just feel like it just gets to the focal points, the important points, and it just, it radiates throughout the day. It's so good to put in your bag. Like, come on, this is just, just throw it in the bag and you're good. So I have another one from Dior. And this is Dior Joy. I love, 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 love this one. It reminds me of a childhood smell, but I can't put my finger on what. But it's so nice. What was I gonna say? Yeah, I got gifted this. Oh yeah, I got gifted this one as well. And this one. And I got, actually no, yeah, gifted, because I won it through an event. There was a competition and I never win anything. So I was so, so happy. This is just so sweet. I want it around Christmas. It's got... Ugh, it's just... This is definitely one of my favourites. I would say top two. The, obviously the top one. Top one? Can you be a top one? Anyway, number one. I'm going to show you the number one in a second. But this is just... Is Dior Joy. Let's get it up for you. Did I show you a close-up? I don't know that I did. I've got the 90 mil. And it does start from around... I've think 90 pounds and sparkling fresh fragrance combines citrus zest earthy woods animal animalic musks a reflection of joy intimacy and it's got bergamot jasmine peach so it's meant to be a fruity floral scent and it's got sandalwood in it it's, and it just honestly smells beautiful like it's just so nice it's such a gentle gentle scent Yeah. Oh yeah, I did show you close up. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I will mix these two together, but um, yeah, they, they work well on their own, but sometimes if I want that more vim smell, then I will mix these two together. They go really well. Last but not least, I have my favorite, favorite one. 
which I actually luckily got at an event as well. It is this one. So <laughs> this one, the Chanel number no. five. You know I love it because it's still in the box and I literally got it last summer. It doesn't even, it barely looks used, but yeah, I mean, it's Chanel. Do I need to say any more? Do I? But yeah, this is it. <sighs> Looking all cute. Yeah, this just, <sighs> it just smells amazing, amazing, like, I just love it so much. I love it so much to the point where I don't even like to wear it, but that is just bad because one day I will just come and maybe someone will be thinking, this girl doesn't even use this perfume and then it's done, but yeah i absolutely love I it where you get it from i believe it starts from around like 50 ish um oh that's 35 mil and then it goes up 70 hundreds what did i even get i've got 50 mil so this is the description says it's the essence of femininity timeless powdery floral so yeah it's got may rose jasmine grass notes from neroli yeah it's definitely got like that powdered bouquet smell it's very delicate it's like you know delicate but it still has the like the mm. it's got the the pizzazz but it's still you know very delicate and i just love it because it's just so it just it just you know gives me old school vibes like it's just very I don't even know what I want to say, but I just love it so much, okay? So yeah, that is the end of my perfume haul. Is it a haul? It's not really a haul. Perfume collection display, whatever. Yeah. So I hope I've kind of made sense. I know I've waffled a bit, gone off on a tangent, all of that. But yeah, I hope I've made sense. I hope I've helped you. Like maybe if you was looking for some sort of sense. I don't know. I hope I've helped somehow. And yeah, just let me know whether you get any or, you know, whether you have any of what I've got. Or if you've got any recommendations, let's have a conversation. Just anything. Put it in the comments. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've come this far, then you are... But yeah <laughs> anyway make sure to like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and see you in the next video bye